Over the weekend, the Miami Hurricanes got a big time commitment from wide receiver Shamar Kurt. And today we're going to talk about him. I just want to look at his highlights, his huddle tape, and give you my thoughts about this kid. Now, as you can see on your screen, on your screen, 18 games played, 76 receptions, 1,500 yards, 16 touchdowns, two time all conference. So the accolades at the JUCO level is there. Can he do it at the next level? That's always going to be the questions. Two takeaways. Before we even get into this highlight tape, number one is, guys, what do I always tell you? Under Mario Cristobal, have no fear about talent acquisition because we are going to recruit and we're going to get talent in. We just got to make sure that we're developing, we're keeping these kids healthy, and they're producing on Saturdays. Next, Tyler Van Dyke. These are two themes that I'm going to always talk about. Tyler Van Dyke, no more excuses. You got a new offensive coordinator. You got an upgraded offensive line. You got some running backs. You got some wide receivers. We're adding wide receivers. We added a wide receiver uh, the other day. We added Kirk today. Listen, no more excuses. We believe in you. They believe in you. Let's get it done this season. Let's take a look at these highlights and see what type of weapon this kid really stacked out to the outside. Throw the ball to him. He gone. He gone. Now just create that separation. Uh, you know, that's how you know how fast this kid is. But this is honestly what Miami has been missing the last couple years. A player who you can throw it a quick screen to and can take it to the house. Not get a first down. Not make one guy miss, then get tackled. Can deliver a touchdowns. We have not, it, it last year especially, Lord have mercy. We had to work so hard to even get a touchdown. We need to be able to get the balls to, to playmakers like Kurt, Ray Ray, Robbie, X, Jacoby. Let's see if we can do that this year and uh, continue to do things right here. Okay, so now he's going to be returning. Sees the, sees the hole, then go. I can't wait for the next dynamic playmaker for the Miami Hurricanes. I believe, you know, Amar Richards is the last true offensive player that when we went out there with him, I said, okay, it, it's about they they it's gonna be dangerous, you know. He can take a slant and go to the house with it. He can make unbelievable catches. That is what we need players that can strike fear into the defense. Huh. He's just making players miss. You definitely can see he's on another level. Get the ball to him in space, making players miss, get to the next level. Okay, now he's on the outside. Stutter step, get to the outside. You go up there, high point, catch the ball. Let him know it's a first down, young man. High point, go up there, get the ball. Let him know it's a first down, young man. I believe he had offers from Texas A&M, a couple SEC schools, chose to come to Miami, man. These are the plays that we need. You know, you, you look back at the spring game and you see the play that Ray Ray had at the end. You see the play that Jacoby George made an amazing one-headed touchdown catch. Those are the plays that we need. Make a guy miss. <laughs> and, you know, oh, my goodness. Hold on now. Hold on now. If he would have went to the house with that one, I was going to be like, why wasn't this the first one? Stiff arms one guy. Juke stutter steps, gets back inside. Not trying to go out of bounds. This man's trying to make a play. Uh, but as I was saying, yes, there's no more excuses for Tyler. But we also have to say that, hey, TVD, you got to make it uh, – you got to make it easy on him too. You know, you got to give you got to give TVD some some quick passes and, and let wide receivers do the work. He got to get some easy touchdowns too. I don't know what this. I mean, good lord, he just hit him with that sub zero and poop. If you look, you took. If you look, you took. Sit down in the zone. Find your way home. Sit down in the zone. 
and find your way home. We got them at the bottom of the screen here. Oh, caught the ball. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. So you see the short area quickness right there because I'm thinking he's I'm thinking he's just going to run this route, catch the ball, go down, catch it with his hand, juke, juke. And I almost gets back to the 20-yard line. You know, and with us bringing in Kevin Beard, I believe the routes that you see, you know, definitely technique-wise could use some improvement. But I believe when you get a Kevin Beard, oh, my God, as your receivers coach, I believe he's going to bring that to these wide receivers, you know. And, and that's, again, that's on the coaches, right? We see this, and the first thing a person will say, well, this is at JUCO level. Can he do it at the next level? Well, some of it's on him, but some of it's on this coaching staff as well to get him ready for the next level. Way to keep, way to keep running with your, with your quarterback. Way to keep running with your quarterback. Ugh. That man said, Kirk down there somewhere. He said, Kirk down there somewhere, and he going to find it. And for those people who do say, you know, it's just Juco, well, Kobe Young, you know, they found Kobe Young. And we saw what we saw the plays he made at the end of the year last year, hoping that he continues with that. But I mean, you see these guys come in and you see the type of vision that Mario wants to bring in and I know sometimes we get impatient. Sometimes it may go a couple weeks without us getting any news, but you best believe Mario is working. Now, if somebody said, hey, Grant, you, you just watched Kurt's highlight, what, what would you say about him? I'll say he's a guy who has speed. He has short area quickness. He can, he's a guy who can get you amazing yak yards. Uh, you know, I seen him line them inside and outside, and I'll say he dominated at JUCO level, and we gotta see we gotta see him do it at the ACC level, and I think we're gonna see it, and we gotta really see. Think about the think about the stats he put up, and I want you to look at these throws right here. Look at this throw. This is the quarterback he was playing with. No offense to you, son. He has to come back. And get that. It ends up scoring a touchdown. This play, he had to come back and get that. Look at that. Stop, come back, and get that. So that shows you. In, 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 listen, did he score on this? Did he get the angle and score on this? Wow, that's good because I thought he was caught. But that shows you with the level of quarterback he was playing with as well. So in the zone uh, find your way home short area quickness troop troop yak yards we love it yak yards we love it so looking at the wide receivers room we have uh young george x kurt earl we we if it in coaches we believe the guys i just named are talented Coaches, you got to get them to produce, okay? Check out this last play right here. Make the catch. One guy missed. Ooh, and, he, and he grabbed him by the towel, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Miami's newest receiver added to the squad. I'm out. Peace.